Real quick, I got a super fun plant for you. This is Malabar spinach. I love going to my local Asian market because they have a much wider selection of different leafy greens and just really cool plants in general if you're a plant nerd like I am than your typical Caucasian oriented supermarket. Uh, but Malabar spinach is cool for a couple different reasons. The only thing really to know, if you go, if you find some in an Asian market, it'll probably be labeled Mong Toy, and they're growing it for the larger leaves, and that's not necessarily the best thing to do, because you want the tender stems. So this whole thing here, yeah, if you buy it at a store, you're going to get big leaves, and you're probably going to have to throw out a lot of the stem. Uh, it's just way too tough. You can just feel it. These little... The little ones, kind of these ancillary stems on the side, they might be okay. Like that one's nice and tender, but these big ones in the middle, they're just not that great. Uh, it's This is a lot different than your typical garden spinach. You can see it's kind of like thick and it has these glossy leaves. It's really a beautiful, it's a beautiful, actually an ornamental plant too, but it is highly mucilaginous. So kind of that same, slime is a terrible word, uh, but it is okra-esque. So a lot of times in Africa and Southeast Asia, you'll see it in soups and stews and things. I kind of like that. Uh, I also like a lot of plants in the mallow family, uh, like in the Middle East, in Israel, in the Levant, they'll eat a lot of mallow leaves in Greece as well. And those also have uh, a pronounced, not as much as uh, Malabar spinach, but they have a pronounced kind of slipperiness to them. So just know that if that's not your thing, you're definitely not going to like Malabar spinach. The really cool part about this plant is unlike regular spinach, which is in the amaranth, kind of quinoa family, this is a vine. So if you have a garden, uh, the best Malabar spinach you'll get is if you grow it yourself. But if you have a garden and if it, you don't have tons of sun or if you're in a small kind of confined area, you can just see here, this is a creeping vine as opposed to like a regular garden plant. So you could grow this along the sides of a garden really as a way to produce a larger amount of edible biomass by growing things vertically as opposed to just having things in simply raised beds or just growing things on the ground. So just a really, really cool plant. I think it's delicious. I'm going to make it today with a little bit of garlicky lemon tahini sauce, which is kind of a traditional recipe to have mallow leaves. But yeah, the Malabar spinach is great and really a cool plant to add to a garden growing where you would have other vines, grape leaves, hops, and things like that.